Babylon is through. She has fallen. Shalom Israel, Shalom Judah, Shalom Ram, Shalom Ram to the house of Israel, Yasharel, the house of King David, Yahuda, Judah, the hope we let. First and foremost, like to give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High, Yah, Haya, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Abba the Father, the God Almighty, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the ancient days, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and giving all praise and glory and honor to His beloved Son, the Son of Man, Yeshua Hamashiach, Yasharel, Yeshua Hamashiach. Some of you call Him Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakadash, who a lot of you call in the world. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, and giving all praise and glory and honor to the Holy Spirit, Rakakadash, the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Double honors to the apostles and elders, and much respect to you brothers that's doing the work with truth and sincerity, risking your lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, allowing the blind to see, the deaf to hear, and waking up the dead. And peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that's gather out and abroad. Coming to you with another lesson. Daily edification. Uh, Babylon is through. She has fallen, has fallen. Uh, the Fed predicted that the Americans will have no money by October. Yep, the Fed predicted that Americans will run out of money. We'll have no money. We'll run out of the money by October. Now, that can be the the beginning of October, or I don't know if it's the middle of October, but we hear. And then they just had on the news today that they going to be doing another government shutdown, okay, in the next four or five days. So we're living in some very difficult times, some very crucial times. And <clears throat> this place is done. Babylon America is finished, man. You got bricks, okay, they they got rid of the uh, dollar, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and you got Saudi Arabia, just Saudi Arabia joined in with them, Iran, Egypt, Argentina, Mexico, and other nations in there, so they're not trading with the U.S. dollar, Babylon is finished, okay, she threw, so, you know, it's a wrap. And it's just a matter of time. They're going to pull that plug, okay? Collapse the economy. And uh, it's going to, all hell is going to break loose. It's going to be a time of trouble like nothing like it, man. And then until you got the legal immigrants, these Gentile nations, these heathens coming across the border, millions, okay? And that's going to make it worse, okay? We're seeing where the trouble is coming from. It's coming from the borders, okay, these illegal immigrants, these Gentile nations, they're coming across the border, and they're going to bring trouble, chaos, turmoil, they're going to kill, steal, destroy, and, uh, you know, bring terror on the people, all right, so, and the men are desperate. So, Babylon is through, man. And we know they, they're going to bring in. Well, they already uh, they already launched the fair now in July or August. Sometime around there. The end of July or August it was. And the CBDC is in place. And it's starting off slow. And it's just a matter of, it's going to accelerate. And then eventually, it's going to be digital. They're removing all physical cash. Hands down on all physical cash. Okay. I don't know when it's going to happen. It could happen in October. It can happen in November. But they already launched it. Like I said, it's starting off slow and it's going to accelerate. But who knows, man? It can be the end of this year or it can be next year sometime. All right? We do know that the dollar is out of here. They reached the debt over $33 trillion. But it's really more than that. Okay, there's no way they can pay the debt. Okay, thirty over thirty-three trillion dollars. So we here. Babylon is finished. The U.S. petrodollar is no good, and they're going to remove that any time. Now, any day, it's just a matter of time. Any day, any week, any month. 
you know, some months. It can happen next year, but it's going to happen very soon. And, you know, going into Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, the chip, the mic, the C-H-I-P, you know, that's inserted in your hand and, and planted in your hand or in your forehead. The newer link, retaining the Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, down to 18. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy yourself. So eventually they're going to bring that mark out. But it's the, the CBDC, the Fed now is already here, and, you know, they're about to remove that physical cash. But this is Revelation. Babylon is falling. This Revelation chapter 18, verse 2, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich. Through the abundance of her delicacies. And going down, it says to four, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye may be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. Yup. So eventually we're gonna have to flee out of here, man. Come out of her and, and head to the wilderness the righteous, the elect. And there's going to be a second exodus. All right? And spe hey, hey, well, especially if you're in a major, uh, in Babylon, in the major cities, starting with New York, you got D.C., Philly, you got Chicago, you got L.A., Frisco, Bay Area, you got uh, Seattle, you got Vegas, you got Houston, Dallas, uh, you name it, Detroit, all the major cities, it's going to be bad, man. Portland, um, you know, Phoenix. But anyway, let's go down to f four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. That's the children of Israel. That ye may be, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. The Lord is about to plague this place, man. Okay? Just like how he smoked Egypt, he's going to plague this place. America, Babylon. America is a modern day Egypt too. And for her sin have reached into heaven and God have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto the double according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her devil. So yeah, man. She's going to get double will. She gonna get double for what she have done, especially to the children of Israel, Judah, and the twelve tribes. All right. It says seven, Revelation seven. It says how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. That's Babylon, America. Start with Esau, Edom, these wicked elites. And also feminism through the woman. Eve. Start with Eve. Okay? Yep. Feminism is going to get destroyed too. When Babylon fall, feminism fall. It says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she should be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. Okay, right here, it says, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her should bewail her and lament for her when they should see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off from the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for, is one, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And that's going to happen in one hour, okay? Thermal nuclear fire, man. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. That dollar is gone, man. 
All right, that dollar is gone. Now going down to Revelation chapter 18, verse 23. And it reads, it says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride should be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Yep. Yep. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Yep. Your sorceries, witchcraft, you know, the wicked elites, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> sucking the blood out of the poor, righteous, um, you know, rape, robbery, pillaging, doing all kind of, you know, evil, evil deeds, man, wickedness, um, sorcery, witchcraft, you name it, man. Woe to the warlocks, the sorcerers, the witchcrafts, the soothsayers. It says, in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and all that were slain upon the earth. Yep. Now let's go to Jeremiah chapter 50. Yeah, Babylon is through, man. Babylon is through. This is Jeremiah chapter 50. We're going to start with... Uh, yeah, two. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. And set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Baal, the Gentiles' gods. All right? Merodach. Is broken in pieces. Gentile gods, their idols, their stores, okay, their merchants, okay, their gods. You got you got one of them gods, what they call it, one of their idol gods, demigods, deity gods, Jade the Emperor, they're supposed to give them a lot of money. Uh a bunch of them. Ganesh, I can't think of that name. Lack Lackness, um Buddha. All them guys, man, Shiva, whatever you name them, okay? They idols, they merchants, they stores, all that's going to be broken, man. Yep, broken in pieces. And it says, for out of the north, there come up a nation against her. Yep, which should make her land desolate and none should dwell therein. They should remove, they should depart both man and beast. In those days and in that time, said the Lord, the children of Israel shall come. They shall end the children of Judah and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, going and weeping. They should go and seek the Lord, their God. You're going to have to flee and leave out of Babylon, man, and go to the wilderness. Let's read it again. It says, in those days and in that time, said the Lord. The children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they should go and seek the Lord their God. Yep. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, thitherward, saying, however you pronounce it, come and let us join ourselves to the Lord and a perpetual covenant that shall not be Forgotten. All praises and glory due to the Most High, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. That's coming. Now let's go down to uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 28. It says, The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. Okay? The vengeance of it says, the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, our power, the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, 
camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done, do unto her. For she have been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. And that's coming. The Lord is going to judge this place, man. He's going to raise his leg men up. Okay? So, yeah, he's coming to save and deliver his people, man. Israel and Judah and put down the wicked. He destroyed Babylon. And he's going to use these other nations to do it. And then he's going to put all... He's going to put them nations down. All these wicked Gentile nations, man. But he's going to use... These nations, like bricks, Gog and Magog, to take uh, well, Iran, the Meds over there in uh, the Middle East, Salakia. All right, she gonna uh, take uh, well. It can be uh, Middle East, over there in Iran, somewhere around there. China can be involved in that. Gog and Magog. Yeah, they're going to take, they're going to dig it. They're going to, they're going to um, empty out Babylon, man. They're going to empty out Babylon. This is Jeremiah chapter 51. It says, thus said the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. Destroying wind, man. Okay, we got the flood coming in with the people. You know, we got the calamities. Then you got the floods of the water. Then you got the upwards of the people. You know, the destroying, that's part of that destroying wind. And then you got the Mice incognito missiles, the warheads, thermonuclear fire, you know, you got the plagues, you got the pestilence, you got the sword, and you got the destruction, the great insurrection, destroying wind, you got hail, earthquakes, overflowing showers. Thus said the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And then you got them, them, uh, them, uh, yeah, them incognito missiles. And then they say, and will send unto Babylon fanners. Okay. Fanners. They're going to fan her. Them fanners is the missiles coming off them chariots. All right. Or it can be the fan her. It can it can uh it can also mean too. It start off so and then it's gonna accelerate. It can mean with the the multitude of people bringing the trouble. Okay. The floods, the calamities, the plagues, the fan her, and the destroying wind. Okay. The fires. Yep. And war. It says, And I will send unto Babylon fanners that should fan her and should empty her land. Yep. For in the day of trouble they should be against her round about. Yep. Going down to uh, 5. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 5. For Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of the Lord of hosts, through their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, where have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And I read that in Revelation chapter 18. But, you know, this place is finished, man. So we're going to need salvation. We're going to need a place of refuge. We're going to have to flee out of here. And uh, 
Yeah, so we waiting for the MOTB. They just announced that uh, what was that? What? That? Yeah, they just announced that they're going to uh shut this place down, and we got lockdowns coming. Got that new wave coming. You know they got the booyah, and they gonna bring in the MOTB. It's just a matter of time. Okay. Yep, it says Washington prepares for the shutdown that was never supposed to happen. That's what they say. You know, Esau is very crafty, cunning. You know, they do lie. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, leads Satan to get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, his media, his lies, his schemes, his traps, you know. It's technology, you know. It says Congress returns to Washington Tuesday with a government shutdown less than five days away. And lawmakers are still scrambling for ways to avoid it. That wasn't supposed to be the case. It has been less than three months since House Speaker Kevin McCarty Representative California, Republican, whatever, reached an agreement with President Biden that set spending levels for the year. That agreement was part of a bipartisan debt limit package that overwhelmingly passed the House in a 343-117 vote. Yep, Babylon is through. She has fallen. Now... <clears throat> Uh, there was something about October the 4th they was talking about. I guess that supposed to be whatever they're supposed to come. I don't know if it was the lockdown, has something to do with the lockdown or the government shutdown, but they already had it planned anyway. They're they going to do it, man. Okay. They don't want people to, you know how the news be. You know, they got to lie. Everything is a lie. They got a lie, 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 lie. Everything is a lie. Let's go down to Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 40. Uh, 40, uh, where was that? Yeah, 27. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 27. Now let's go down to uh let's go down to Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 8. It says Babylon suddenly Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so be she may be healed. We would have been healed. We would have been healed. Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one unto his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Yep. Back to uh, uh, 9. We will have Heal Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. That's another precept of Revelation chapter 18. Now going down to uh, Jeremiah chapter 27, I mean Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 21, 27, Salakia. It says, set ye up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet, among the nations, prepare the nations against her call together against her, the kingdoms of Ararat, 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 however you pronounce it, and many, and Ashenaz appoint a captain against her, cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars, tanks, bombs, nuclear. Icy missiles, warheads, you know, 
It says, prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, the Meds, the Medes, the captains thereof, and all the rulers thereof, and all the land of his dominion. That's over there in uh, the Middle East, Iran, Iran. Yeah, Iran, Salaki. I think I said Iraq earlier, but it's Iran. Yeah, the middle, all, all up in that area. And then you got Gog and Magog, Russia and China. It says, and the land should tremble and sorrow, for every purpose of the Lord should be performed against Babylon. For every purpose of the Lord should be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. This place is going to be destroyed, man, completely. Okay? Yeah, this place is going to be burning in the lake of fire. I'm going down to uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 36. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee. And I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. And Babylon should become heaps and dwelling place for dragons and an astonishment and an hissing without inhabitant. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 45. My people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. So, man, we, hey, we don't have to get up out of here, man. All right. This place is finished. It's going to be lawlessness like never before. And and, and the angel Michael is going to get come out and come out. Get ready to stand up and fight for us. Come out and fight for us, man. Because it's going to be that bad. You got millions of more people coming over here. Men are going to be vading one another. Sedition. It's going to be a whole lot of mess. And then economy is going to be, hey, everything going to be shut down. Then, hey, the, the internet going to go out. The power going to go out. The Lord is going to send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Although the famine of food and water is coming too, but this is talking about the famine of the word pertaining to Amos chapter 8, verse 11. That's coming real soon, man. Yep. Yep. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word, to seek the word of the Lord, and should not find it. Salakia. So yeah, the time is coming when the Lord is going to shut the mouths up of his servants, his apostles, his elders, his prophets, his pastors, his preachers. It's watchmen, you know. The prudent man for seeking the evil and hide himself and keep silence because of the evil times, you know. I'm roughly, I'm paraphrasing, but hey, man, we here. It's about to get real bad. It's about to get real bad, bad and ugly out here. It's gonna be lawlessness, okay? Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, the last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. The elect, men of the Lord, starting with the 144,000. Saints of the Most High. All right. So, Lord willing, I pray, I hope, in that, I'm hope, I hope I'm in that number, man. I don't know. You know. Most High is the best knower. But uh, all we do is all I mean, all we can do is just keep doing the right thing, be steadfast, you know, you know, and wait for the Lord. Have patience and wait for the Lord, man. Keep doing the work. But uh, this place is finished. So they said in about four or five days they're gonna shut this place down, man. We don't know if they're gonna get the money, get back up. This time, I don't know. This can be the one to mean that it collapse. They're not going to do no bailouts. They're already too far in debt. They're already talking about we. You see, BRICS already dropped the U.S. dollar. All right. So the U.S. petrodollar is gone. It's on its last leg. And they're already about to, they talking about they about to move it. So 
This can be the collapse, man. They saying this government shutdown. To bring in the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, blockchain tracking device, and the MOTB, okay? Pertaining to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 down to 18. That's inserted, embedded in your hand, and planted in your hand or in your forehead. And Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. It talks about it. And Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 down to 10. Yep. And two on top of that, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 down to 11. If you receive and accept that mark in your hand and your forehead, the penalty is that is death. And you will be tormented with fire, with brimstone. Fire and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. No repentance. Taking this mark of the beast, this chip. Okay? No repentance. No forgiveness. But we here. So gird up. Amen. Come out of them big cities. I'm glad I'm in the country. I'm glad I'm in the country. And I'm still going to have to flee. You're going to have all these people come to your house. Going into 2 Nedges chapter 15, you know, and 2 Nedges chapter 16. Martial law. They're going to declare martial law. Okay? Blackouts coming. Plagues of darkness. No power. No communication. They're going to shut the social media, the internet. All that's going off, man. The famine of hearing the words of the Lord is approaching. Okay? And the famines of food and water is here. They drying up the river, Mississippi River. I mean, that's getting dried up. People can't even, they barely, they can't even, they ain't got no clean drinking water. And Louisiana, or very little, they haven't, they saying it's drying up. The Lord said he was going to dry up. Yep, dry it up. You know, that's prophecy is. It's all on the news, man. The rivers over there in Mississippi, Louisiana, and roughly I'm paraphrasing. I'm just, you know, it was on the news and people barely got drinking water, man. Hey, it's getting real, real bad out here. The days are getting rough. The nights are getting colder, man. Hey, these are perilous times. The last days. Israel is going to, the Lord is going to gather Israel together. Judah and Israel, okay, and he's gonna bring us together, man. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a mass exodus, the second exodus, okay. We gonna be we gonna go on foot, just like what it talks about. We gonna leave this place, man, because they gonna shut everything down. It ain't gonna be no fuel, no gas. This place gonna be desolate, desolate, okay. You ain't gonna be safe at your own home, man. You're going to have all these people come to your house. Criminal, thugs, military, police, gangsters, killers, serial killers. All these people are going to be coming to your door. Your house, I mean. Breaking in your home. So you're going to have to leave. Babylon is through. It's going to, hey, 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 man. She has fallen. This is it. So... Most High is the best nor at the end of the day. Can nothing happen without his permission and his son, our Christ, Savior, and Redeemer. So the Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So tribulation is here, man. The scourge is here. Bloodshed. Trouble. And I'm going to close out with Ecclesiasticus. We hear, man, these are some very dark times, difficult times, evil times, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Okay? Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes Sirach chapter 40, verse 8, and it reads, it says, Such things happen unto, Salaki, unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is seven folk, Salaki, more upon sinners death and bloodshed, strife and sore, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. And that flood is going to be thermonuclear fire, the second flood. All right? Yup. 
Yep. So, that being said, um, stay prayed up, keep the spirits on high, and wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time, strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, they prayed up, hey, it's about to go down. This can be the one. What they saying October the 4th, you know we got lockdowns coming. They got the new booyah, booyah. Uh, uh. You know what? Uh, uh. So, hey, this is order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. Chaos out of order. Chaos out of order. All design and plan, but the most high is controlling at the end of the day the most high is controlling everything okay this is prophecy this is prophecy can nothing happen without his permission can nothing get delivered out of his hand pertaining to deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39 so the lord had made all things for himself yea even the wicked for the day of evil so he's going to use the wicked esau edom starting with esau edom on the left hand side to bring part of his judgment in. So we here, man. Babylon is through. Hey, the righteous, the elect. We are, we are, hey, we're going to have to endure much tribulation. Get ready. Put on that whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wiles, the trickeries, the schemes, the snares, the traps. Because it's about to go down. It's about to be a roller coaster ride. But he that should endure to the end, the same should be saved. But he that should endure to the end, the same should be saved. That being said, all praises and glory due to the Most High, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Rakakadash, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Judah, Shalom, Barakatah.